watch videos of interrogations from murder trials. And this is like up there as one of the most tense and scary fucking things I've seen in a while. Mary Kay Letourneau. Mary Kay Letourneau. Mary Kay Letourneau. Mary Kay Letourneau got a lot of headlines back in the day when she, at 34 years old, not only had a relationship, but got pregnant by her 12 year old student. I, I think a lot of people were confused because at the time, by that time standards, people thought Mary Kay was pretty. Why didn't she just go out and date a guy? Why didn't she get a boyfriend her own age? It, it was just crazy. It was a medium like firestorm, but understandably so. This is a story that we hear happens all the time, but it's what happened afterwards, which was even crazier. Mary served her time. It was, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years. And there was an order by the courts that she was not to speak to the child, even though he was grown up at this point, 18 or 19, there was still an order that she was not to speak to him. Well, somehow she was still in contact with him and he petitioned to lift the order so that they could see each other again. And then she married her victim. Some people might try to argue, well, he liked her too and he married her, da 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 I, Look, I'm gonna tell you straight up, These they had a trauma bond. She trauma bonded with him and then a lot of times the abuser will try to get in the good graces of the victim in the public spotlight so they can say, look, everything's fine. It, it's, a, it's a power thing. Getting into a relationship with him when he was 19 would then make her look better because she can say, look, we loved each other. That was many years ago. And Mary Kay has now passed away. In 2020, she died of cancer. She and her victim stayed married for many years, but separated right before her death. Now, this is an interview of the two of them years later after they had two kids and were married for a while. And I thought it was weird because Mary seemed very in control in this interview. Initially, when the news released this video, they didn't release the whole thing. Well, years later, they decided to release the whole video. How long have you, you both been married for now? I think this year was 13. Yeah, 13 and then 2005, see. <gasps> okay, yeah. About uh, 13 years, 13 I mean. 13 plus, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did anyone else feel like that was weird? Like she looked at him like he was supposed to reciprocate and be engaged. Okay, you guys saw that too? And she's like, okay, you're not gonna engage. Well, let me make it look good. <gasps> I think this year was 13. Yeah, 13. <gasps> Prisoner! That's quite incredible. Has that oh. time gone quickly, slowly? Time kind of just really flies by, actually. Uh. Yeah. And you're busy every day, so. Well, you're busy. Whoa. You're busy, very, very Whoa. busy being parents. Yeah. I think those years were so, when you're moving through the school years, those went really fast, it seems. I'm like, oh my goodness, weren't they just six and eight? Just, I'm like, whoa. And I tell, that's what I tell parents, um, like, it's going to go fast. If I were him, I would feel so uncomfortable hearing her talk about children. Like, our kids have friends, and they, I'd be like, yo. Romero, I am so happy you said that. Romero just said, I'm scared because I was just thinking the same thing. I was about to ask you guys, like, is anyone else fucking scared? This holiday, I got this awesome Stanley blanket of all of his best moments. But nothing beats my Bose blanket. <laughs> Merchandise back in stock now. Get yours at BoseVersusTheWorld.net. Well, give me a sense, Philly, if you could, of your, your upbringing, your childhood. Oh. You come from, oh. fair to say, a very big family. Why am I scared? Uh... Yeah, my dad was married five times, and uh, there's a total of 18 of us. We didn't grow up all together. I grew up with uh, my four uh, uh, full-blooded siblings. Um, I eventually met the rest of them when growing up. I still have more to meet. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, an up that's a sort of a crazy upbringing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, there's a lot going on at Christmas or around the, uh, the family dinner table. Uh, we watch videos of interrogations from murder trials. And this is like up there as one of the most tense and scary fucking things I've seen in a while. Mary, he feel, it feels you? like what he's a prisoner. Your, your background and, uh, and your upbringing. My father was married once. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so, oh, where are we going? 
um, like, <laughs> and t- t- tell, tell me a bit about I feel your like partner. I feel like she's thinking about something else. I feel like there's like some uncomfortable subject. She's like, there's she's thinking about something here. Let me ask you about you two. When when did you first meet oh. Lily? <gasps> uh, meet? Ah. Well, I met his uh, brothers and older sister before I met him. Oh. He's, so there are four in his family. And then uh, the first time I was familiar with the name Billy Fulaau. She's trying to, to avoid saying sixth grade at all costs. What a roundabout way to say when he entered the sixth grade classroom. That's crazy. Watching her do these mental gymnastics is insane. Was that when you were here, his year two teacher? He was one of my students back then. I hardly remember. Of course, I remember his name. So, and I knew the Fulao family. Uh, wow. Because I knew the other siblings. Mm. So, before, and then here came um, a unique one. <gasps> so, well, they're all quite unique. This will, this will be a test of your memory, Vili. I mean, you would have been eight or so back then. Do you have any memory of those years? He's I have, like, not really, like, good memories, but oh. some of them are just random. Just pretty much random stuff. What sort of memories? Like, I remember hiding in, a, in the closet. Uh. There was a closet in the, oh, no. in the classroom. Do I have the strength? This has to be one of the most uncom- uncomfortable things I think I've, like, ever watched. Like, this is, like, really up there. And he was still married to her at this point. I think it just goes to show how long, like, an abuser can try to string a victim along and say, oh, no, I care about you. Oh, you're special. Oh, you're unique. But you can tell he's thinking about it. Bose, can we fi- uh, pull out the feelings wheel? Oh, I'll tell you what you're feeling. Probably disgust, revolt. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you that's what you're feeling. I mean, it's crazy watching her minimize what she did. In the closet, there was a closet in the <laughs> oh, no. in the classroom. And then me and She's my like, "Don't say classroom." Classroom. From Mary. Why don't you say yeah. what you were doing hiding in the you're closet? Just hiding in the classroom. No, in what did you tell me <gasps> you were doing? Well, that's like that's weird to talk about right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which only makes me want to know about it even more. Go on, Mary. What was he doing in the closet? <laughs> Oh, it's this is really... what, oh, what you said to me is like, yeah, we hide in the closet. I don't know what she's about to say. I don't think that Mary Kay liked him saying classroom because it, it, it was the elephant in the room. I don't think she liked that. So then she had to pull out the, but you are doing something wrong. Or the, I'm going to embarrass you. When you do something to either advocate for yourself or stand up for yourself or to call an abuser out and they don't like it, they'll turn it around on you. They'll find a way to turn it around on you. This lady, she's not just a pedophile. She's an abuser. She's an emotionally manipulative abuser. Oh, what you said to me is like, yeah, we hide in the closet and we'd hope you'd walk past so we could look under your skirt. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, who's like, tell us like years later, like, uh, is that what you told? It is what you told me. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> no. Oh my God, dude, wait. Do you guys realize he's like actually kind of coming out of the spell? Like, this is like, this is actually the point. I, I'm not even gonna sit here and try to decode all the fucking gross things she just tried to do. He's like realizing like, this is what she does. And he's like, okay, do you feel better now? They're still married. They're still together, but he's like waking up out of this a little bit. What made you and I at teaching? Um, I think just being tuned in to um, a lot of good listening and being aware. Uh, and uh, how about just really making clear what the objective is? Part of what the interviewer is doing is he's trying to, he's just trying to lull her into a false sense of security. Get, just get her talking and then come in with certain, it's like an interrogation basically. I mean, that's what it is. God, this lady rambles more than me. Can you remember back, Vili, to being a student? Was Mary a good teacher? I remember uh, all the kids uh, really tuned into what she was saying. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to look for and what a good teacher would. Dude, 
she's trying so hard to connect with him when he does this. Like, dude, this isn't the, like, I'm interested in what you're trying to say turn. This is the full body, like, control turn. Like, that's what that shit is. It's like a stare. It's a full body. Like, that's way more than just, like, a little bid for connecting and conversation. For me, a good teacher would keep my attention. And a bad teacher would be someone who talks, you know, where it's, like, kind of monotone, where it's kind of, like, uh, just kind of fall asleep while the teacher's talking. We just happened a also, lot of times. Also, with people like this that are abusive, the staring at you is, you can feel it when somebody's staring at you like that. And it's kind of a symbol of, hey, don't say the wrong thing. I'm watching you. You can feel that person staring at you while you're talking. Middle schools. Well, it's fair to say Mary had your attention, I believe. Yeah. What, what, this is a tough question. What, 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 attract, what first attracted you to Mary? Can you remember? Uh, she was pretty, and, uh, and, oh. yeah, and that was it. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's waking up. He is waking up, and, like, dude, here's the thing. Even when somebody starts to wake up like this from someone that's abusing them, it's hard to leave because she's scary. She's scary. I am so glad he fucking left her before she died. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up to say, but she's a pile. I don't care. I am a dude. He he didn't let her leave this world thinking she still had control. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> They're not laughing at the same thing right now. And then, yeah. And then, I don't know. I kind of like that she uh, drew a little bit. She taught some art stuff and I thought that was kind of cool and then I think like in sixth grade we kind of connected on certain things <clears throat> kind of like saw common views on stuff life and similar interests yeah Mary when did you first realize I have feelings for a student <gasps> um oh probably well, first of all, he wasn't my student when any uh, of any feeling. He was 12. So. He was 12. Uh, which I think is really important. Is it important if she was 34 and he was 12? Is it? Here in the United States, in the state of Washington, it was really important for it to be put out. And I, I guess. He was uh, 12. Politically and a lot of legislation. Um, he was, was 12. important. To portray I just it. want to make sure in the midst of all of her rambling, you don't forget, he was 12. As if it was a student-teacher relationship, but it really wasn't. So even though once upon a time... <gasps> Look at his face. I'm going to play it back. Look at his face. So even though once upon a time, um, even you ask, well, when did you first... Well, I feel kind of awkward an answering that because it's sort of wanting to connect it to this was a student-teacher relationship and which is really big in law and doesn't matter coach, teacher. Yo, I cannot get over his little tiny like, t hold on, chat, you guys. I'm not like, am I, tell me, you tell me. I'm not like doing some weird body language shit, am I? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? His like facial express, like I just need, I need to know. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? And doesn't matter, coach, teacher, yeah. supervisory. She's saying it was like sometime. So it was after. Yeah. So I, I am saying Somewhere. that. I was taking college classes for my continuing education, uh, for my certification in teaching. You have to have it every five years. You gotta um, update. So Notice how she's just not answering the question at all she's not answering the question we are 17 minutes into this video and he has not defended her once he has not engaged with her he hasn't defended her he's done that man is done but he just doesn't know how to express it he's been under her control since he was a kid let me ask you Vili, in a different way oh. uh, at what point did this morph i guess from this right here <laughs> Please help me. Please help me. You're on your own, bitch. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting. Morph, I guess, from teacher and former student to 
boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, just, just a friendship, really. And then um, during uh, summertime, you know, things just got a little closer, and you know, there was some, there was some. Uh, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, dramatic stuff going on, drama. Really? Where? There was plenty of dramatic stuff going on. Uh -huh. I don't know, there was a lot of things that kind of just led to to us kind of connecting on a deeper level. And um, she was causing problems and trauma bonding with him. She was doing some she was doing some manipulative shit. That's what she was doing. People that are very manipulative to your face, they can also be situationally manipulative. They can manipulate bigger things in their life, in your life, put themselves in trouble and be in peril and make you come running or start a fight with somebody close to you or do other stuff. If they can be manipulative to, to your face, they can also manipulate things in your life and then jump in and weave a new story and insert themselves into it. And it got even more wild. Crazy once the police found out and her husband found out and I think we at least we spoke to each other as if in that summer we felt like boy it was boyfriend girlfriend and that's why I guess that's what I'm there wasn't a teacher st well when you consider we were in the same college we both took a, an art class Mm -hmm. at the same college and I think it was it felt really great <laughs> I'm just saying it felt great because we were so close as we were oh. close as friends and then oh. just to not be his teacher in any capacity and to be friends and to be the first time she acknowledges any connection to being his teacher outright is when she's saying, finally, I wasn't his teacher. Oh my God. I hate this lady. I hate it. Just saying, I don't know what the, what was dramatic going on, but I mean, inside of us probably, yeah. yeah. When things, uh, when we realized, I don't know, you called me your girlfriend. <laughs> I did. Yeah, you did. Uh, it's best not to argue. <laughs> it's best not to argue, Billy. Really. No, this is my experience. Wait, did he say I did? Question mark. Wait, somebody in chat said she clearly needed more time in jail. I don't know. You called me your girlfriend. I was. I did. Yeah, you did. Oh. Uh, it's best not to argue. It's best not to argue, Billy. Really. No, this is my experience. No, it's my husband. I'm, no, I'm, I hate that he's not on when, his side when, more. When Mary did Billy really make it clear to you that he was interested in you physically, sexually, I guess. Can you remember that moment? You must oh, remember that Oh, he's wondering what moment. she's going to say. I just remember, uh, yes, there was one point, and I said, put that away. I just meant the idea. And No, you didn't. Let yeah. me see his facial expression. Yeah, he. There's a there's a story about that. I don't know how much time we have, but. How did that idea manifest, Philly? What did you say? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. There was. I just. I appreciate appreciated. That's the wrong, wrong word. But there was no. There was a moment where he said that he was. He did say he was in love with me. And Man, this is what she's basically doing is, well, he asked for it. Oh, he, she said, oh, he was looking under my skirt. Oh, he called me his girlfriend. Oh, he, he was the one that initiated it or he said something. I don't believe that. Otherwise, she wouldn't be screaming from the rooftops to throw him under the bus. He was a child. And you're a 34 year old married woman. You fucking weirdo. It scared me. She, and that was before anything physical between victim the blaming to the victim's face the... oh yeah yeah like i don't know yeah like weeks a month uh, um mm -hmm. bbx said you can't be seduced by a child bro she is off her rocker if she thinks anybody's gonna buy that did it feel like love to you back then Billy? Means for anyone, yeah. It's, it's what you would, uh, I don't know, for me, yeah. I mean, for anybody, first time, figure out what love is for the first time. Wow. You know, that's he all. He says you know. it. So, for what I know that it was back then, yeah, I would say that that was 
real love. I'm trying to take a couple. He literally acknowledges that he had limited information, limited not. He says, I was a kid. That's basically what he just said. I was a kid. I'm trying to take a couple of steps back to when you first made that brave decision to, to say something to Mary. Was it initially on a dare or, you know, in front of your mates? Um, yeah, it was actually a... It started off that way with uh, trying to get a cl get closer to her. Well, that was the reason. Of and which I knew nothing about. Yeah, so... <laughs> so um, Mary Kay is trying to paint herself as a timid, sweet woman who was just a good teacher trying to do her job, and she had no control over this this child that was trying to seduce her. And, you know, years later, they just fell in love. Like, that's literally her story that she's trying so hard to push. Started talking it was because there was that bet. And then, you know, later down the road in the relationship, kind of just... Um, the bet just wasn't even crossed, it hadn't even crossed my mind anymore. Wow. So <laughs> she's not happy with that answer. One thing, and I think this is, um, this is crazy, is an answer to your question. It was, um, and I still think about this moment, and still, because I remember, um, you, you remember when you came to me. Direct, Victim right, blaming of, again, uh, and this was wow. When it was uh, it was a very very end of uh, the school year, and I don't even think school was really. I think it was basically done. Things were closing up, but I was on my way out the door, and he said, "Wait a minute," and um, he said, "How old do you think you're going to be when you die?" And I said. I was really excited because I'm going to talk about my grandmother, right? And and now I just no, she was excited because she's a pedophile, and the child that she had a crush on was talking to her. And now I just said my mom's going to live till 100, but my grandmother, which is not even her mother, my father's mother, she really did live to 103. And I so I was really excited because he had never asked about my grandmother, and or Probably any because he was you know, a student thing, maybe beyond my parents. And I said. I said, well, I'm probably, I'm going to at least be 100 because my grandmother right now is 100. She died at 58. And, uh, I'm most like her. Was I was excited to talk happened? about my grandmother, and he cut me off, and he said, well, if you're going to be 100, then I'm going to be 80 because I'm not living another day in this world without you. And I just was like, I'm like, he was a child. <laughs> I look. It's a pretty romantic thing. He was a child coming from a difficult home, and you gave him attention. For a teenage boy to say? I said, you just said that to me? He wasn't a teenager. He was 12. There's no such thing as 12 teen. He was still a child. But at the time, we were just close, close, close. And I was, a little tiny bit of me was like, you just cut me off. I was talking about my grandmother. And, I mean, if someone asked you to talk about your grandmother, asked you to, well, I guess you didn't really ask me. I thought... I thought it was an opening to talk about my grandmother. Dude, which I was proud to talk about. Um, if you extrapolate Bro, the age I love from him. Like that, it makes it sound better, right? But, you know, back then, 34 and 13, did you have a sense that what you were doing wasn't right? Uh, hearing him say... I hate that because he was 12 years old when they met. What, he turns 13 during the school year and now this guy is like, he's a teenager. <laughs> What about back then, though, 34 and 13? I was just thinking about 80 and 100, if you want to know the truth. Oh, my God, you want no, to know. No, a part of you was thinking about... <laughs> no, a part no, of you no. must have been thinking about... You, by all accounts, everyone in Des Moines says you're one of the best teachers going around, a fierce intellect. You must have known such a smart woman that this... something wasn't right about what was going on. Call her out, Slimeball. Um... Well, just know that there wasn't any any thought or any idea that something was going to happen. So, no, there wasn't a thought about, there wasn't a thought about, uh, we were just, even when he said 80 and 100, 
I was just thinking, you're so right, I don't want to live another day without you either. What I'm trying to get at is a sense of back at the time, at its inception, before this had evolved into something like love. Wasn't this just a physical relationship between a woman and a man, or I should say at that point, a little boy? Well, you shouldn't say a little boy. He was 13. Because he was. I know, but you shouldn't say a little boy. Well, a teenage so. boy. She doesn't like when you say what it is. That's what he was. He was a little boy. That's literally what he was. Well, you know, some people are incarcerated in this state at age 13, and they're treated as an adult, and they're not called little boys, and they get a life sentence. Uh, so when you put it in that perspective. Why? No. So it's like, how, which angle do you want to come at? I want to come at it from the angle. Oh, uh, no, I'll tell you. I want no, to... do you want to know? Are you say, hearing what I'm saying? I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm, so I want to come at it from this angle. As a 34-year-old woman, did you have any philosophical problems, moral problems, with entertaining the idea of a relationship with a 13-year-old boy? Ooh. Well, I wasn't entertaining the idea, and that's my point. Yeah, you were. But, so... you, but you clearly were. <gasps> uh, eventually. Get her slime ball. What I thought is he doesn't understand that I have four children and I have responsibilities. She has four what I, kids? That's the only thing. And you have to keep in mind that now it's uh, 20 years ago, and sure, in the last 10 years, all across the world, the laws have changed and everybody, and you'll even see, ever since, uh, Mary Letourneau. These people sometimes, they think if they talk enough, they can use all these words to create this new reality and they can box themselves in it and they can say, look, I live here now. She's just going and going and going and going, dude. There were no laws back that would, that anybody, there were no situations. Morally. No, there, there were eliminated. laws, there were laws, Mary. Oh, the there, law no, was no, no, there statutory rape. Oh. For ah. males. And if you look historically, it was a male only. And then the laws changed when the when equality. Let's go, Matt, on this. You want to? Because I'm ready. Sure. What? Okay. So the, the equal rights amendments from state to state here in the United You're not States, winning and this it one. even happened over in Australia, New Zealand, and what's called the Equal Rights Amendment. And what they did is they new they gender neutraled the laws. Prior to that, it was male only. It was a male only. Are you supposed to be immune from being a pedophile if you're a woman? Uh, nobody got on, uh, nobody did a press release here in the state of Washington or in California where I was from and said, we have now changed the laws. It is no longer gender, it is no longer gender specific, a male only. When I grew up, it became equal. Sure, as a teenager, I knew. I don't even know if that's that, true. Oh, if that male, um, the males knew, because it was a well-known thing. Because of, because um, a lot of dads out there were saying, "Stay away from, stay away from the daughters here." She's an exhauster. Have you guys dealt with manipulative people like that before? You're like ready to go to bat for yourself or your belief or something, and they just like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and they don't get tired and they just want to exhaust you until you give up and they're right she's an exhauster so you say are you saying there was, are you saying are you saying there was confusion about the law at that time or that you didn't understand nobody the law? knew it who knew it who knew it but you knew you no. mary come on you knew that she's it was not upset. right even if it wasn't black maybe and white. Morally. if you didn't if you didn't have no, the statutory morally. papers there morally. you knew queen morally. yapper and yapper morally. down <laughs> Is that that's what you're saying morally? Tonight. No, I'm saying morally Dude, you guys are and funny. legally. Not the legally part, no. But you are such you are, you are such a smart person. One, I'd never even been in a courtroom. Yes, I am a smart person, but I'm like hyper focused in my areas. So you're saying, Matt, I, I'm a smart person. I'm revered as a teacher, but I just didn't know it wasn't right as a 34 year old to be with a 13 year old. Sorry, not I just didn't a, know. Not in a criminal sense, but I thought. Uh, first of all, you you just said teacher again. And she just well, doesn't. you were his teacher in second once grade. Upon a time. People like this, they don't like when you acknowledge reality. So she gets really upset whenever he says, you were a teacher. He was 13. He was 12. He was this. 
She hates that. She wants to live in her little world. Yeah. You're saying at one point you were his teacher. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to get into semantics over that. I'm just trying to accept. In the end, you stood up in court and pleaded guilty to two counts to of child rape. El to some elements. Two counts of child rape. Well, the only thing that that title is is a deterrent, and I'm glad it's there. What? As a deterrent. When I, now I understand the laws in general. Yeah, but I don't want to talk about oh. the logistics of the law, Mary. I mean, you stood up and said, yes, oh I did it. Oh, my God. I did something wrong. No, I fit the elements that equal um, guilty to the elements. And we don't have to, if, we're, if we really want to, if you really want to go into like the, okay, I want you to also respect one thing. We're married. This is. I appreciate my that. Answer. Okay. So when you, um, and we're not, like, between us, we know what happened at the time. Oh, my God, he's so entirely this is crazy. not appropriate to talk about, because we're not, we know. Should we move on we to the know. next question? She keeps trying to make them into a unit. He's not saying anything. Billy is so dumb with your ass, dude. And the fact that I decided that I, as the adult, was, was going to make this go away and we would all get on with our lives and that I would get back and not even get back, resume. <laughs> like, I got some responsibilities to some children and a marriage to resolve. And for the best of everybody, I said, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna, this is gonna just, <sighs> the least amount of drama. The whoa, least whoa, amount whoa, whoa, of harm. Mary, I can't accept that. This goes to the heart of the whole story for me. When you say the best for everybody, what I'm trying to ask is whether it was the best for Villy at the time. I mean, he was a 13-year-old boy. He had a big decision to make. Was it the best for everybody, Villy? To continue it? Hmm. You're saying you made a big adult choice, Mary. Please I, and I'm ask him a question. I'm not trying to turn this into an adversarial interview. I'm trying to say, when you say you made a big adult choice and made the decision that was best for everyone, was it best for Villy? Oh, you mean, to should I... To pursue this. Okay, so should oh, I have... Villa, if you would appreciate if I, I just want to let Billy speak. Mary? Can you but answer that I, question, Billy? Let's clarify the question, though. You... Should I have said not guilty and brought him to trial? No, no, no. Should you have pursued the relationship at all? Should you have walked away? You're presuming I pres that I Both of you. It's a question to both it. of you. You were the adult, Mary. Okay. But that doesn't mean the personality makes it okay. so... Here's, here's a, a succinct way of saying it, and I, I appreciate this is a difficult discussion. Well, Villa, I think it's kind of disrespectful that we're married and you're going there. No, 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 because it's the inception. I just want to get that. I just want to deal with what happened at the time. I appreciate that you're married and this is an... God, she's so annoying. I just want to hear him talk. You to, you're third to, to pursue this relationship. Okay, Order back. We, maybe. You can make the decision all over again to pursue this relationship. Do you do it? Would I do it after knowing my kids now? Oh, and dude, I was just thinking this a minute ago. He probably resents her, Mary, but it's also hard because he has two daughters that he really cares about. He really cares about it. The children are not, they are separate from like what happened. They are his daughters, you know? And so it's, it's probably hard sometimes to resent her when you love your kids so much. Will I do it after knowing my kids now? Three daughters, his three? I, thought I he think two. there would be a lot of things that I probably would have changed. Um, I mean, I've looked at it, um, I spent a lot of time thinking about it, like if I was to pursue it, which way would have, what would have happened? It's two, you almost got me. And um, I really don't know, you know, I can't. There was a lot of- um, Yeah complicity of emotions going on with the both of us her and her personal life and my personal life and I think a lot of those elements kind of brought us together to be where we are today was it right was it wrong um I don't know um all I know is that um yeah is that it happened and everything that did happen that we do speak of that we felt within our hearts for each other was real. But in the legal system and for the average normal um, eye, you know, it is obviously wrong for many reasons. He's the only one that can reasons. say it, yeah. And it is what it is.
She's losing but it. But right you say this is this this story, your story, is almost an exception to the law because you fell in love. That that, oh. that, that makes it all all okay. I wouldn't say it was it's okay, but I think a lot of it uh, could have been handled a different way. Could have been um, less stressful on on the both both of us. Can't imagine how tough it was to live through that for the both of you. Hmm. The media storm, oh, the fuck court her. case. Uh, what what was it like back then in the eye of the storm? Mm -hmm. That was probably the media, hard and confusing. The court. Um, at that time, I just all I was thinking about through that entire time was um, how she was doing and was she okay. And um, probably because she, she made herself the victim. It's really sad that he lost some of his younger years to her dragging him through a media firestorm and a j just court case, all because of decisions that she made. I never really thought about myself. I was more uh, worried about what she was going to be doing, you know, or how she was doing. And um, I kind of felt like uh, maybe they should have gave us a chance to talk things out or at least work things out. They mm -hmm. kind of just cut the contact, you know, between us. But between us. And um, I almost wonder if he says that because he wished that he got closure sooner than later rather than like the, the, the sense of longing for like eight years, like to talk with her, connect with her again. Like that's where I feel like that could be coming from. But I don't know, because everything he's said so far has been denouncing her essentially. That wasn't right. I think they should have at least maybe a supervised visits or something to at least talk things out. To close um, the door, I, I or think. Or figure out what's gonna go, you know, I mean, considering that she had given birth to my child. Oh my God, and, um, I forgot about that. It was just, it was, it was a real struggle. I mean, there was a lot of things I didn't understand at that age. Mm. Um, I didn't know anything about the law. I didn't know anything about raising a family. I didn't know anything about, uh, um, all I knew was that I loved her. I think a lot of cases just kind of get put into categories mm. and, um, you know, they see the highlight of it, but they don't really look at mm. the individuals um, a little more deeply. I think what happened with us was that, you know, this is just, this is huge. You know, she's a beautiful um, sixth grade teacher. Her background, you know, her where she comes from, where I come from. I feel like he's figured, being so oh, nice really to her, but it's probably because she said next to him. And they um, and they just ran with it. Um, was anybody caring for? Um, her feelings or my feelings, no. Nobody really cared about that. Um, and I think, uh, and I'm not, I'm not trying to play the victim here about any of it. I just think that. You can, you can definitely play the victim. He can play the victim. He's allowed to play the victim. I, in fact, I welcome it. Have, have you at any, have you at any point really felt like a victim? People like to call you a, a victim. Well, a lot. Of, well, growing up, I've always had people telling me that's not really how I feel. You know that. Uh, oh, she made you feel that way. So I was always getting that. So now that I'm older and I've grown up and I've been through so many experiences, I know my feelings. I know who I am mm -hmm. and who I am as a person. I know, and I love every little thing about me. And um, I wouldn't change who I am and all my experiences that I've come through in life that brought me here. I, for one, can't, you know, being 35 and looking back, like switching the roles. I mean, I, for one, couldn't do that. Um, when I look at it, I mean, after even raising my own kids and looking back at it, I was like, I, I for sure couldn't do it. What do you mean by I couldn't mean, do that? I mean, just from <laughs> knowing everything that I know now, I mean, I couldn't, I mean, even just, even without knowing um, and seeing a 13 year old you know, now, you know, me being 35, I couldn't, I couldn't like look at a girl that young romantically. <laughs> um, Is that hard to hear, Mary? <laughs> it, oh, I don't, I don't relate that to our situation. <laughs> same situation in no! Uh, no, it isn't. What? That's, no. I'm in the, I'm over here, I'm in a little delusional world. Oh, oh, what? 
Yo! Things that, are not, things that are not actually the same should not be treated as if they are. But that's, uh, oh, that's from the United States Supreme Court, by the way. I mean, it's, it doesn't even <laughs> cross my mind. You know, I mean. Guess what? It doesn't, but, but, guess what? It doesn't cross my mind, and it never did. So I would never. What do you mean it never yeah. did? I well, mean, uh, but it you did. did it. When I didn't pursue it, but stop, Matt, please. Please. I mean, in her defense, Stop. I mean, the entire time I when the never, relationship... I never, I never pursued it. I never thought about it. And it's never crossed my mind in any... Of course, it's like, I'm not saying there aren't... The reason there's a deterrent title like that is because maybe there are people that uh, a male that might even consider it. I would say there, I, there are people out there. There um, might be. And there, that, there, there are definitely, I mean, for us. Good reason there's the, the law is I there. I mean, there could even Boo! be a guy that's my Boo, age, that Mary! 13 year old attractive and that, oh. I don't know, for, just for me, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't, um, and he doesn't. We're saying we, neither of us think that way. Oh. But um, we're, and we're both happy that there's but you did such it. a law that's but Mary, there. you see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cause an it. argument here. When you were 34, you did think that way, and you did do exactly that. I was pursued, and <gasps> I didn't think about it. I did not think about it. But, but it, that's not an excuse for any crime, is it? For, and I'm not saying no, this not. is. You can't just no. go, I didn't think about it, see you later, uh, sorry. No. Morally, I thought about, um, you know what? I'm not even technically single yet and he's calling me his girlfriend and i thought that was you know it's like this is not right uh uh get off the stage i'm so done with her i'm i'm so done you know what you can only live in somebody's world of delusion if if you listen to him and i'm out i'm out i love that he called her out a little bit though i love that he called her out a little bit we needed that